Gentlemen, I think she's about to start a fight. The following is a Hell in a Cell match. Making her way to the ring from New York, Judy. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of. And that dream is about to become a reality. such a talented competitor, I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. From the pits of hell, Demon! Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. It's easy to become focused solely on the demonic structure in Hell in a Cell, but there are other considerations to think about too, Corey. You're right, Michael. It's not nailed down. It can be used as a weapon here. The stairs, every corner of the cell, anything. So whoever can utilize weapons more effectively is going to have a big advantage. But not to mention all the times we've seen superstars launch themselves from the top of the cell 20 feet in the air. And we know from history only bad, bad things happen on top of Hell in a Cell. Across the way. Stop after stop after stop. Incoming. Big time power oh. bomb. A constant assault from her here. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. She's feeling the hurt here. Saw it coming. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Kick right to the face. Hell in a Cell is the kind of the ultimate test for a superstar. Any words of wisdom for these competitors, Corey? Well, don't let the setting of this match get to you. Stay focused on your opponent and just work hard on getting this thing to work. If being confined within the cell starts to rattle you, then you've just handed your competition the advantage. 
All right, she's back in, ready to go. Uh oh, Dragon Slaper. It's in, it's in. Night, night. I'm oh, gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. Rolls through, and she's free. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Oh my, dragon screw into the ankle breaker. Oh, for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. This is just punishing, disrespectful. Oh, definitely hurts. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. No count as she takes this fight to the floor. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. And this is where Hell in a Cell earns its name, people. The damage is just piling up as we head into deep waters. affect them too greatly. Into the ankle breaker. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. And we see the attention being put on this force over here. Oh my god. One wicked attack after another. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. Ooh, she responds with a counter. And she'll get sent out the hard way. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Uppercut connects. And now she's getting routed. Yeah, the faults in her game plan are being laid bare. Boom! 
Back in the ring now. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. And back into the ring she goes. Yeah. Big knockdown. Oh, looking for it. Back body drop. will head back to the ring. He's going to try it again. Now is the time to tap. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No, it's not, Mike. When I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. As it hooked. There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? Face first. Waiting for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top rope. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's cold. Let's take a look at some of the action that proves Hell in a Cell is the most dangerous match in WWE. Here is your winner, Judy. A big win for her. And she certainly earned it. I can't even imagine enduring everything we just saw. This is what it really takes to be a WWE superstar.